Horizon Creatives is the next update for Horizon 5 and I believe we've already been given quite a big clue as to what some of the new event lab changes are going to be like we can see on the splash screen. That's what we're going to be talking about today so yes make sure to subscribe if you're not already guys we've been giving away car pack codes lately a few of the winners have still not replied so we might be picking someone else subscribe comment your gamer tag and you might be picked. Just some quick Twitter updates. We like to cover all of the updates that Horizon 5 put out on Twitter. They've identified a bug where the cars have been shifting automatically, even when on manual with clutch, which I have noticed because that's what I use. Forza Motorsport is now pre-audible on Steam. There's been some more Forza Motorsport info come out lately, which I haven't done a video on. And a bit of a bonus, I encourage you guys to follow Forza Horizon 5 on Twitter because they regularly give away car pack codes for free. As you can see here, I think there's 10 or 11 on this list that they technically gave away one of the letters or numbers is missing you've sort of got to guess that so it's a bit of a guessing game but so go and follow them on twitter keep an eye on their page whenever there's a car pack released you may just grab yourself a code if you're lucky enough and you manage to guess the missing letter so yes yeah, september the 14th will bring us the horizon creatives update we don't know too much about it but we can do a lot of working out based on the clues that we have on the previous forza monthly live stream where they showed us the current update at the end they always tease us a little bit with the new update let's roll what was said now share with the lovely people I mean, this, this is thing. usually the point where we kind of crack open festival playlist and take a look at uh, the uh, coming soon page for so example let's do that yeah um so horizon creatives is the name of the next series uh and there's some new cars and new collectibles some new event lab props and uh, uh some really exciting stuff for event lab uh really looking forward to like just grabbing things and talking about that I really can't wait to unveil this for the Event Lab community. They're going to love it. They're going to love it. It's, it's a big one. Yes. So that sounds pretty big. It doesn't just sound like we're getting a few little quality of life changes to Event Lab. Now, something I want you guys to take note on is what Torben said. Now, I didn't catch this at first, but watching it a few times, I think this sentence here. Really looking forward to like just grabbing things and talking about that grabbing things and talking about that might mean something the way he said he's looking forward to grabbing on to these things what is he trying to tell us i would say that there's a good possibility that one of these new features or refinements we're getting for event lab is something to do with grabbing things do you see what i mean i mean event lab already lets you place props down and move them about and do whatever you want so i I have a few random guesses as to what he might be hinting towards here. So potentially some kind of grabbing feature. Can we grab props that are already on the Horizon 5 world? Can we move buildings? I think that's a little bit of a stretch. Um, I can't really come up with anything that it could mean. But the way he said it, it just seems like it must have some relevance as to what as to one of the changes that are coming to Event Lab. What do you guys think? Pop it down in the comment section below if you have any ideas. Obviously getting new Event Lab props as well. That's We get Event Lab props in most updates, but the fact that this has its own widget, maybe we're getting a little bit more props than usual. New collectibles and new cars. Now for the new cars, we spoke about this last week. There's been quite a few new leaks come out lately. This file got leaked, which actually displays all of the recent new cars along along with at the bottom of the list some cars that aren't in the game yet. Now the way this is structured it does look like it's entirely possible that those cars at the bottom may be coming in a very soon update. Might be completely wrong but it might happen. This would mean that these nine cars here which were a part of the leak are definite candidates for the next update within Horizon Creatives. A body kit was also leaked for the MC20. You've probably watched them two videos. I'll have them linked in the description if you want to watch the videos about the leaks. But as for the new cars for the Horizon Creatives update, that would be my best guess. One of these nine cars here or just any other car that's on the leaked car list. That's what we have to go off. The event lab changes are what most people are going to be interested in and lately playing on games have been very good at adding things that the community have requested over on the suggestions hub the suggestions hub is where we really need to suggest the new upcoming features and they've been doing a really good job at taking ideas from there 
So what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd go to the suggestions hub and have a look at what the top voted event lab changes are to see if they've had much interaction because I think if Playground Games are doing anything with event lab they are more likely to do what we've suggested on the suggestions hub. So looking at everything that's got an event lab tag we can see here there's quite a few different suggestions. There's adding a start finish line prop to the event lab to make better use of the map and there should be option to increase the traffic in event lab um, traffic cars as props you can see a list of them on screen right here but i think they would probably focus on the ones that have the most votes so let's have a look at them now adding a start finish line prop to event lab to make better use of the map that is a high that is one of the highest voted event lab features with only 86 votes and to say that's the highest voted event lab one is pretty crazy we can see details about here about exactly what the change is suggesting. Maybe we'll see that within these event lab changes that we are going to get. Another one is event lab browser UI and feature overhaul. So not really many new features, but an overhaul of the current UI and feature set. Now, massive props to this guy. I believe his name is James Miata. He did a ton of work at making concept menus for an overhaul for the event lab he did an overhaul here of the event lab main menu now it just looks so user friendly there's details down below if you want to pause and read he shows what again as just looks so good i don't know how he's managed to do this himself but this is a concept screen of what an event lab details could look like so this is one race it shows um, how many laps it is, it shows who did it, it shows photos of the race if you want to have a bit of a sneak peek at the event lab you're about to do, it shows the restrictions, it's just a very clean and tidy UI concept. He shows a browse trending page of what it could look like when you're browsing event labs. It's, each of them have their own custom sort of thumbnail, I guess you could call, which is such a good idea. I think I personally would play a lot more event labs if I could see what's available, like on screen right here. And then my events page. This guy just had so many. I'm going to scroll through. Massive props to him. I do think this is something Playground Games should consider, having a bit of an overhaul with the event lab. Reverse start option for blueprints that's got 68 votes i have to say i was quite surprised at how little amount of event lab suggestions there were on the suggestions of when i had a look i'm pretty sure i've looked in the right places i'm pretty sure i've worked in the right places now there's obviously the possibility that they are not going to follow any of the suggested things on the event lab they've come up with their own features and their own ideas which is absolutely fair enough i'm sure they'll be good but as you saw in the clip earlier they are making a big deal out of this this does seem to be a very much event lab focused update which i have nothing against the big question is though what are they bringing is it really going to be as good as they are saying make sure to pop down in the comment section below what you think grabbing onto props might mean what did torben mean when he said he's looking forward to grabbing on i really do think that is a hint towards something i'm not much in event of event I'm not much of an event lab user myself. Horizon Creative, September the 14th, I think it was. Let's hope it is a fantastic update. I will see you guys later.